I would like to share with you uh, some insights again. A um, couple of weeks ago, uh, when MISA and FAS organized uh, the 2010 uh, South African Media Barometer, and where I was uh, pretty much impressed or to a certain way as well shocked about the, the encounter between civil society, media practitioners, uh, and uh, their sharing their exchanging their views about media. Um, I put some uh, citations here, but in rather to save time. Uh, the media barometer is supposed to be out in uh, two, three weeks. It's in a stage of going to the printer and will be as well officially launched and presented to a large audience uh, uh, quite soon. So I refer to you to do the, the proper lecture when it's out on the, into the public. But what um, struck me was uh, a, some sort of a incomprehensiveness of the both sectors, the media, and in that particular case, the print media, and civil society. And this in a context where uh, the political landscape becomes more and more difficult for, for, for media, that was recognized by all participants uh, in that uh, workshop, in terms of tendencies to, to restrict media freedom, maybe the first time that part of the progressive South African constitution is being, being attacked. Um, and media has taken it for granted that they would have allies in the civil society. And media, in particular print media, was shocked about finding that those that they thought to be the allies were actually the, the heaviest or the strongest critics. Um, that has something to do, I think, with the income, or let's say, maybe on the side of the media, with a lack of proximity, uh, targeting specific audiences and not the South African society at large, serving specific interests, uh, definitely, which may not be reflected uh, with the interest of the society at large or larger segment of society. And on the other side, maybe as well, a lack of understanding on the side of the civil society that media uh, is not the organ of an interest group, but as well a capitalistic, whatever, an enterprise which has to make profits, has to make money in order to, give, to create employment and as well to survive. And this has then as well certain restrictions and needs as well a specific methodology in order to earn money, in order to make this necessary. Um, from this background, this, this well, maybe incomprehensible for the time being, uh, Ebert Foundation well, said, well, that is for us part actually of our, of our mandate, trying to bridge, because we are heavily in, uh, involved for a long time with media, either in South Africa or elsewhere in Africa and globally. And as well with our friends from civil society, but it's possible to narrow a little bit the gap and try to resolve the one or the other 